viewers my name is mohammad farooq in our series of summaries of books today i would like to share summary of 18 minutes 18 minutes is a wonderful time management productivity book which will help you in finding your focus getting rid of distractions and getting the right things done on time as usual i will share the five concepts five things i learned from this book the first concept will change way of your thinking this concept has helped me a lot the concept is that that act to motivate yourself normally what we do we look for the motivation we say oh i'm looking for a motivation to do something this book says no act for one minute then you will find a motivation for example you want to go to exercise you have to just wear your shoes your jogging shoes and then automatically you will go outside and then you will walk you want to go you want you want to swim you have to just act to go inside the water and then you will automatically swim similarly you want to go to the gym you have to wear your gym clothes and then you have to go to the gym your motivation your action your activity you have to pressurize your will power to go till the gym and then you will find the motivation so the concept is act to motivate yourself act for only 1 minute act for only 2 minute and that's enough then you will get the things done act to motivate yourself the first concept of the book second concept of the book is that pause what are your objectives what you are going what you have planned to achieve that day what you have uh, planned to achieve this year things which you are doing will help you to achieve the end goal things which you are doing will help you in the future so you have to pause you have to think about it might be you are doing something which you already did in the past so before doing anything you have to pause you have to think about the productivity part you have to think its alignment with the bigger goals third thing is that how to manage your day the author says that take 5 minutes every day early morning plan what you are going to do 5 minutes more in the night think what you have done and in 8 hours per day per hour you have to spend 1 minute thinking about that how 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 was your 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 1 hour was it productive or not and then you can think about how to make it more productive within 1 minute so w- within 18 minutes as per the author you can manage your day the fourth concept i personally loved this concept it talks about four things first thing is that that you have to think that what are your strengths you have to think what are your weaknesses you have to think that what are the differences you have compared to the others maybe you work differently maybe you have uh, culture wise differences maybe your thoughts are differences there are differences in your thoughts compared to the others and the fourth thing is that you have to find your passion what are the things you love doing you do not feel like you are working what are the things are, you have to just identify those things in the fourth step the fifth thing is that that you have to follow on the identified things for example you find your strengths you are good in writing follow your strength work on your strength do the works which are related to your strength weaknesses you need to do nothing on the weaknesses you have to just accept your weaknesses that i am weak in this areas work on your strengths your strengths will overcome your weaknesses for example you are not a native english speaker so Your, your this is your weakness that you do not have that accent so what you can do but you can think that i am good in ideas i am good in writing so you have to focus on the writing in parallel with that you can speak in your own accent what will happen that after some time you will realize you will improve your pronunciation you will be able to speak in a better way you have to focus on your strength the weaknesses will automatically uh, uh, disappear or you will get rid of the weaknesses third thing is the differences this is a wonderful thing if you are different than others you are going to be successful all the people who were different than others succeeded in the history in fact it is said that that history is made of those people who are who were different compared to the conventional ways who did something differently compared to the conventional ways let's say we remember all of us remember the lincoln why because he removed he, he proved the slavery bill there was slavery from previous centuries but lincoln Uh, ex- uh approved that bill and after that the the the, the america be- became a civilized country and war also ended let's think about the companies for example what steve jobs did he did something different 
what bill gates did did something you have to act on the different things uh, you, you have to act on your differences and do the things differently that will lead your to, towards your success and the last point is follow your passion whatever you love so that you will not feel like that you are working you will you will even continue even after failures so this th these were all five points i hope you liked this summary please share it with others uh, i hope they will also like it let's have a larger community of the readers we have so many books on our youtube channel visit our youtube channel and watch the book summaries i hope you will find these book summaries useful for your life thank you so much